they look at me like, okay, he's, he's too big to have any kind of common sense. So let's try to pull this one over on him. Let's do this, let's do that. That's not good business sense. Respect my mind. I don't care if you got the judges. I don't care if you got the referees. I don't care if you got the whole damn arena on your squad. You will not stop me because I know the God I serve and I know who sent me for your ass. Super impressed with Zeus's um, debut. I mean, holy smokes, the guy's got power for days. So, and um, a lot of people are expecting him not to have good cardio. That's not the case. Frazier, son of heavyweight champ Smoking Joe, Zeus standing close to seven feet, over 300 pounds, did not disappoint in his debut, knocking out Mike Seymour in a matter of seconds in the first round. Here's Zeus after his first career win. Man, it means I think thank God for all of it. First and foremost, I like to thank the people of Augusta, Augusta, Georgia. Man, they they some it's great people. You know what I mean? And I I, I stick by. I stick by my word, and I, and I would love to always fight home, and this, this is what I'm going to call home as well, right here in Augusta, Georgia. Thank God for these people, thank God for the kids, and thank God for Coach Grubel and, and Grubel Mixed Martial Arts. Now, Zeus, he wants to call Augusta his home. Uh, Zeus, if you want to stay at my house, you can stay at my house. You, you don't have to worry about anything. I, look, I'll, I'll take the cash. Cause that man is bad. I know. I saw him knock a brother out. I mean, if you want to follow? Almost too close. If you want to follow me home? Make sure I get in the house <laughs> safely, Zeus. What's up? <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for that sports segment. I feel bad, but I don't at the same time because I'm so happy for you. It feels good. I thank God. I put God first. I just thank God. I thank my trainer. I thank my coach. We've been working for a while. We've just been working and working and working, and just come out and, and get a game plan and execute. And I just thank God for my team. Well, I'll be honest, some people didn't think you were going to have the stamina for a little guy like him that with his record. And boy, did you show them. So what do you have to say to the people that didn't think you have what it takes? I think you pretty much shut them all down. So what are you going to do with all this training? Are you looking forward to just keep going, having a great run? I'm keep going. I'm keep fighting. Whatever coach say fight, I'm going to fight. And I just thank God we're going to keep on going. And our next thing, I might have a fight up up north, but we're going to Bosnia. We're going to win and take the gold over there with Waco Team, Waco USA. Yes, Waco Team USA in Bosnia. And after that fight, oh, my God, is this awesome. So, Zeus, who do you want to shout out to? I want to give, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to God. If, in Jesus' name, it went for him. It wouldn't nothing be possible. And I just thank Coach Grubel, Grubel's gym, Team Waco USA, my family, all from South Carolina. I like, I like to thank all of Georgia, Augusta. I like to thank all of Atlanta. I just thank God for all of them. Thank you for coming out for every one of you, each and every one of you. God bless you. Do you ever worry about hurting your opponent? Nah, I just, 
uh, once that light switch on inside of that ring, I, you know, I just go and I get the job done inside of there. And you know, I pray, I pray all be well, protection over over me, and I, I pray I don't kill him. Zeus, um, you have been a professional boxer for many years, um, and now you've kind of crossed the line and transitioned into kickboxing. Um, are you excited about being able to represent your country in Bosnia in the sport of kickboxing? And what does that mean to you? Well, first of all, I'll give honor and glory to God, man. I'm super excited. It means a lot that I can represent my country, fight for my country using my hands and my feet. It's a great thing for me, you know what I mean? What can people expect in Bosnia out of you? A championship. Last night you had your professional kickboxing debut. How did you feel about your performance? I felt I felt good about it. I felt good about it. I know it's, I can improve more and more each and every day when I go to practice or something. It's, I can improve on each, each and every day. What do you think is your most valuable asset as a fighter? Focus is key. Uh, being in shape, staying in shape, having a mindset to listen to my corner. <laughs> Faith in God or just faith in general? Your faith in God. My faith, that's the, the number one thing. I mean, I walk by faith and not by sight. All people, I mean, faith can move mountains. You have faith as much to see the good in the kingdom of God. You understand what I'm saying? Just, you know, there ain't nobody's perfect. I try to live more and more like Christ every day, you know? But, I mean, while I'm here, I'm afraid that I'm gonna tell people the Bible. When I'm in that ring, it's like my proof that I'm crazy with my hands and my feet. So all of my friends need to eat. One thing that motivated you daily to get up and get on that grind, what, what would you say it would be? I would have to say my father, my, my dad at home who raised me at home. Um, both of them, my father would say, boy, being man don't eat, you know what I'm saying? If you don't work, you don't eat. You don't grind, you don't shine. That's just, you know, that's just what it is. You gotta get up. Then here come the cold work. <laughs> at four, five in the morning, <laughs> getting up at the farmer's market. But I just thank God that um, it, they, they inspire me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They inspire me. They inspire me to get up and go and be a go-getter. But first of all, God inspires me every day just by just waking me up, waking my eyes up. And seeing what this all went through here on earth. So a lot of people know you as the son of Smoke and Joe Frazier, and that's something that really won't be changed. But how important is it for you to also be, um, fill out your own shoes? Man, it's very important. 
very important because it's I got my I wear my own shoes nobody can put them on my feet he always told me you know you gotta fight for yourself ain't nobody gonna fight for you so and they gonna think you gonna run out of gas but you ain't because you gonna work and your tank gonna be full so you get up and you do what you gotta do put your pants up and fight like a man <laughs> My name is Zeus Frazier. I'm representing Team USA, heavyweight.